Hey you guys, what's up? My name's Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. No, I'm not naked. I'm wearing a shirt. I'm so excited to have you guys here. If you're new here, my name's Sydney. I have a last name, but I haven't announced it yet. Wait for the announcement. I upload videos every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I usually upload videos on makeup, different kind of haul videos, different just different kinds of lifestyle videos, you know? So if you like that kind of thing, please make sure to subscribe and come back. And today I'm just gonna be doing a little haul video of things that I have accumulated over the last couple months. These things include workout clothes, a parfum, my favorite perfume for summer, some different shoes, some sandals for summer. So stay tuned if you want to see what I've picked up and my reviews of them. The first thing I'm going to be reviewing is a shirt I'm currently wearing. So literally every Instagram influencer recommends a shirt from Amazon. They say it's a Lululemon dupe. I purchased it for myself to test it out. It is this tank top. It has a built-in bra, it's spaghetti strap. I just got it in this gray color. I do like this shirt. I do notice that the cup pads are a little high up. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see them. They're visible. Obviously you can take those out if you want. There's a divider in the cup pads to keep them separate. It is a nice material. It's athletic material. It has a seam at the bottom to keep it in place, which is nice. It's super tight. Well, not super tight, but it's tight to my body. It's form fitting. I got a size small. So I would say I approve of this shirt. I don't own any Lululemon shirts like this, so I can't say if it's a dupe, but it is super nice quality. I think I got it for around $21. I'm going to put it in the description. And like I said, I got a size small. The next tank top I picked up is this Lululemon tank top. It's inside out because I've worn it to the gym. Here it is. It's just this razor back Lululemon tank top. There's the little symbol. It is the Align material, but I do own a pair of Align Lululemon pants and I would say this is less brushed than the legging and honestly I prefer this material over the legging material because it does not attract nearly as much of my cat's hair to it. It doesn't pick up lint as much so I definitely prefer that. It's a lot cooler to the touch than the Lululemon. New Lou fabric that's on the leggings. I don't know. Am I just making this up or is it a different material? I got this from the I Made Too Much section on Lululemon's website. Pro tip, I literally only shop from the I Made Too Much section on Lululemon. So this is is like their sale section. It's always updated. I just check in there periodically to see if there's anything I want. I refuse to buy anything full, full price from Lululemon unless it's a pair of leggings. So this tank top goes for 45 ish dollars and I got it for around $34. I'm gonna link it in the description below, um, but I definitely think it's worth the money. It doesn't have a built-in sports bra or anything. It's cropped, but like the perfect length of crop. It hits right above my leggings and this is how it naturally sits. It usually ends up scrunching up a little bit during workouts, but it kind of adds extra coverage when you're at the gym. It also adds extra support because it is tighter on top. And I got a size four in this and it fits me perfectly. The next thing I wanted to talk about, I'm super, super excited about. I got this sports bra from Airy. So it's from their Airy Offline collection. As you can see, it's a long line sports bra. So yeah, it's about the length of shirt I'm wearing now. I love this bra. It is super comfortable. It does not cut in at all around my rib cage. I got a size small. I would say if I ordered this again, I would size down to an extra small just because that would give me more support in the boobage area. And since I do have extra room in the, the rib cage area, I would say I'd be safe sizing down. It's not too tight. It's like the perfect tightness around my chest. A lot of times too tight. It doesn't have adjustable straps, but it fits. So I would say it fits true to size, but size down if you want extra support. I love the sports bra. As soon as I tried it on, wore it to the gym once, I immediately came home and was looking to buy more of them. I have not yet because the color I wanted was sold out, but I definitely think I'll have more of these in my future. It is like the perfect V-ish neck. It has like an athletic material. It's good for the gym. It holds up. I got it for 30% off. So I think I got it for around $23 and I would say it's worth the price. It's worth more than that, but I'm happy to pay $23. The next shirt I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna spice it up. This is actually a shirt I purchased for work. I know, why am I purchasing shirts for work? I'm not even leaving the house. But it's just this shirt from Banana Republic Factory. It's just like a thicker cotton material. It's super sturdy. I've worn it literally every customer I've gone to over the last five months. I've worn that shirt because there's only been like four of them over the span of five months. So that's my go-to work shirt right now. Maybe it's because it's new and it's just fresh and it's easy to pick and it's super easy to pair with anything. 
thing. I mean, I just wear black pants, but it's a super basic, comfortable t-shirt that looks fancier and more professional. One, because of the fabric. Two, because it has a little bit of a design on it, you know, but it's not too flashy of a design. So I super like that. And I just learned about the Banana Republic factory website. I didn't know it was a thing, but basically it has a bunch of Banana Republic clothes for cheaper on that site. And I'm definitely be going back to it for more. I love that shirt. I think I also got that for around $23 and I got it in a size small. Next we're gonna be talking about my miscellaneous categories. So I bought these three things from Thrive. I got the eye brightener, I got the mascara, and I got an eyeliner and they all freaking suck. Eyeliner's okay. These two would not purchase again. Check out my Thrive video if you wanna know more. It's unbiased, unsponsored, obviously. And I was hooked from the Instagram ads telling me it looks like you have lash extensions. It looks like you had eight hours of sleep, whatever. So I tried it out for myself, put a video up on it and would not recommend. I prefer my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I prefer my Marc Jacobs Eyeliner, which price point is very similar to Thrive. And I prefer just eyeshadow for inner corner highlight. Then on a more positive note, I also recently picked up Zio Skin Health. It's the intense eye cream. So this is a new, I have eczema around my eyes. I get like milia under my eyes. So I needed a good under eye moisturizer. I started using that like two weeks ago. I'm also filming a video on this moisturizer since I know you guys loved my first Zio video on my skincare routine, which I'll link in the description or tag in the video. But I'm gonna be doing a review on this under eye moisturizer, but what I can say so far is it's definitely doing its job. And then, I don't, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of subtle, but I got my hair done. I got it done, like last week, it's a little bit, has a little bit more blonde in it, you see? So different, right? Before, I was a lot more red and copper. So I got some balayage, I got some highlights put in, and I got a lot of the red taken out. And then to continue taking red out, I thought I would pick up this shampoo. It's the Not Your Mother's True Triple Threat Brunette Shampoo. And I'm going to be picking up the conditioner to go with this because it really does work. It's a dark blue color. It neutralizes the orange, red, brassy tones in brunette hair. And I honestly have noticed a difference since using this. And it was only like $9. I got it from Ulta. Typically, I would have gotten a more expensive brand for shampoo, but that's doing the job just fine. And that's the 411. Next, fun fact, I'm super big into fragrant fragrances. I'm super big into candles, but one of my favorite things to buy is parfum. So I got this perfume, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. It was a special limited edition perfume and I love it. I literally put on perfume before the gym. I don't know what to say. So yeah, it's super fresh, but fruity at the same time. Definitely lemony. And I know it has hints of raspberry, but I would say it's just like a fresh lemon scent, but not in like a lemon pledge type of way. It's like a mature lemon summery fresh scent. My mom likes it. It's not too much. So the fragrance family is fresh. Scent type is fresh fruits and citrus. Keynotes are citrus, apple, gelato, accord, and amber woods. So yeah, it's like what I was saying. It's very citrusy, but it has that amber woods in there to kind of mature it up a little bit. And I would say it's- it says it's classic woody and musky scent. It's boosted by vibrant citrus and crisp Granny Smith apples. A surprising twist of apple gelato is contrasted by aromatic Wow. Rosemary and pink pepper notes enhancing this fragrance passion and sensuality. I would say it's definitely more apple than lemon now that I now that I read that. But yeah, it's like a woody, musky, citrusy scent that's perfect for summer. And I'm not gonna lie, I got this during like a sale a few months back for 20% off, but it was relatively cheap. I think, okay, relatively cheap, she says. I think I got it for like 60-ish dollars, which isn't too much for perfume in my opinion. And the scent doesn't last too long, but I'm okay with dousing myself with it. I would prefer if it would last longer, but I honestly just love the scent. And I love buying fragrances. So if I run out of that one, I'll just go buy another one. And then the last thing I'm gonna be showing you guys are some shoes. I have worn the same pair of sandals, these rainbow flip-flops since I was 13. So the last like 11 years or so, I've worn the same sandals every summer. I don't really have any cute shoes to just run out of the house with or even to style with outfits unless they're heels and sometimes you just wanna flat. So I was on the look for some shoes, some sandals, some good slip-ons to wear either casually or to dress up. So these are the ones that I got to dress up. These are from Steve. 
Madden. I got them in a seven and a half. That's my typical shoe size, but here they are. They're snake print. I love the double strap. They're easy to throw on and just go. I'm gonna try them on for you, but if you want more feet pics past this, just let me know and you can pay for my services. Just kidding, but I feel weird about putting my feet on the internet. One, because I freaking hate feet. Two, because I hate feet, but I'll show you just so you can see the shoes. I hope you like that, perverts. And the second one pair of shoes I got, these are just for casual wear. I wear them all the time when I just want to slip on shoes, get out of the house before I would have to put on tennis shoes most of the time, which was a pain. So I got these Birkenstocks. They are like rubbery. They're basically Crocs made into Birkenstocks. I'm wearing a size 38 in European. My typical size, like I said, is a seven and a half. I tried the 37s and they were too short for my foot. So I sized up to a 38. These are super comfortable. They're adjustable, obviously with the strap so you can fit them to your foot. These are the perfect shoe if you just want to get out of the house and go. And they look cute in my opinion. And they'd be perfect for the beach because they're not going to get dirty. They're basically rubber. They're going to go great with water and sand. And I think these are a great investment. I lied. My actual last purchase is candles from Bath and Body Works. I love candles from Bath & Body Works. And in case you didn't know, spoiler, fall candles are officially out in Bath & Body Works. And when I got that email with a little pumpkin emoji in the freaking subject line, I almost died. I was so excited. I love fall time. If it could be fall all year round, I would be so happy. So I got fall candles from Bath & Body Works. I didn't go overboard. This is my favorite sweet scent from Bath & Body Works. It's their cinnamon spice vanilla scent. It smells exactly like a cinnamon sugar donut that you get from the freaking fair. So it's amazing. Fresh ground cinnamon sugar, crystals, Tahitian vanilla bean. So this is my staple. If I want to have something sweet, it tastes like a cinnamon donut. Oh, so good. I literally just had this one lit so it's still all melted, but I got leaves. So leaves is the best fall scent, hands down. I will stock up on that when fall time ends. So it's crisp red apple, golden nectar, warm clove spice. And I see right now that they have wall plugins and leaves and that makes me want to go buy wall plugins and buy leaves for my room. It's the best ever. And I'm so happy that Bath & Body Works is back open. And I can go in there whenever I want and they have more sales because it's not just online. It's my favorite date night is going to Bath and Body Works. So I'm just so happy. I actually want to go there tonight. <laughs> so guys, that is everything I have for you guys. I just thought I would put together this quick little haul video. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded a haul video and I bought a few things enough to throw together this video for you guys. I definitely recommend every single thing Actually, no, not the Thrive. I will link everything in the description box below if you're interested. And let me know what you guys want to see from me. I love doing haul videos. If you want me to buy something to test out, different kind of Instagram makeup. If you want me to be the guinea pig, let me know. Like I said, I'm here every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I have a lot of exciting videos coming up for you guys. So click that subscribe button, like this video. And that's all I have for you guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to my channel means more than you know. So I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye. Peace.